What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different than normal. We're gonna take a break from working on the Datsun 280Z and we're gonna do some maintenance on the Porsche Cayman. Today we're gonna to be changing the oil and I'm gonna do a full instructional video of how to do it. So let's get to it. Changing the oil in a Porsche Cayman is not too much more difficult than doing it in any other car, but I'm gonna go over everything that you need. So we're gonna need an oil catch can, just like any other oil change, some ramps and maybe a jack. Uh, we're gonna need eight quarts of 0W40 engine weight oil. You're gonna need some an oil filter, which looks a little bit different than normal because it's a different style. You're also gonna need an O-ring for the oil filter casing and also a crush washer for the drain plug. You're gonna need a CR7 computer OBD port code clearer thing. You're gonna need an eight millimeter Allen head socket, a torque wrench, and also a 74 millimeter oil filter wrench. I'm not gonna use one just because I'm gonna try and use these hands, but we'll see how that goes. And I got all of the consumable parts for this job on suncoastporsche.com, a really great place that sells a lot of maintenance stuff for your Porsche. So. I advise going there, definitely like their service and it makes everything really easy. All right, let's jump right into it. So now that I got condensation all over the camera, let's go ahead and pop open the hatch. And first thing that we're gonna do is open up the oil cap, which is super easy. Just undo that guy. And then get your eight millimeter socket ready. And we're about to undo the drain plug to drain the oil. There we go. While that's draining, clean up your drain plug, put your new crush washer on there, and then open up your favorite alcoholic beverage. And then once it's done draining, go ahead and move your catch can out the way and wipe everything down real nice. And then we're just gonna use the, the drain plug and we're going to put it in there hand tight to kind of stop any additional oil that might be coming out. Go ahead and put it in there. Just hand tighten it. You can use something like brake cleaner to clean off the oil pan, but watch out for your eyes. You don't want to get this in your eyes. Lastly, get a torque wrench to 37 foot-pounds, and then we're gonna start tightening the drain plug. This drain plug is made from aluminum, so you wanna be really, really careful to make sure that you don't over-tighten this thing. Hear that? That's enough. Just to give a little spatial perspective, the oil filter is right here on the driver's side of the oil pan and straight up. It's about eight or nine inches in there and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna loosen it and then bring it down vertically because it's a cup with the filter inside of it. So you don't wanna like tip it over and get any oil on the floor. This is what it looks like from my point of view. I'm just gonna stick my hand up there and try and rotate it free. Okay, so I quickly realized that I cannot do this by hand. So. I went to the store and I got a proper 74 millimeter by 14 flute oil filter wrench. So don't be like me, buy the right tools the first time. It's probably gonna be a mess, probably. Oh, yeah, it's pretty messy. All right, well, let's get her cleaned up and back in. 
all I did was dump out the old filter into the catch can. Um, lots of oil in there, so remember, be careful. And next, all we have to do is take off this O-ring and replace it with a new one. But before you do that, you wanna coat this one in a little bit of oil, so let's go ahead and start doing that. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take your new filter, go ahead and put that bad boy in there, and then we're gonna put a little bit of oil inside. So now we're gonna put the filter back in, but make sure that you clean up all this area really, really nicely because the oil filter is right next to the headers. So you don't want the oil to be like dripping down onto the headers and uh, that can create smoke. And in the worst case scenario, it can create a fire. So make sure to clean up all the oil and then you're ready to put the new filter in. So let's go ahead and start by hand. And then once it's kind of screwed on a little bit, we'll use a wrench. And to tighten this, we're going to use 17 foot-pounds with a torque wrench. Easy does it. All right. There we go. And last, but certainly not least, we got some oil. So we got some 0W40, and it requires 7.9 quarts, so basically 8 quarts. Go ahead and put your 8 quarts in there, and you should be good to go. Now you might think that we're done, but now we gotta reset the change of oil light using the Crest Setter um, 7. So let's go do that. All right, make sure to put the key in the ignition. Then we gotta go into the fuse box down here, which has our OBD port. All you do is just plug this bad boy in here. Then I haven't done this in a while, so excuse me as I kind of figure this out. Okay, so we're going to go to oil lamp reset. And we're going to go all the way to Porsche, all the way at the bottom. And then we're going to go to auto mode. Select by car model, and we're actually going to choose the 911. I know we have the came in there, but that's for the 987. 991. Then we're gonna click oil service. All right, no more oil light thanks to the Crest Setter OBD port thing, and we're good. And that's how you change the oil in a 2014 Porsche Cayman S. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this inspires you to go work on your car, no matter how fancy or new or expensive it is. Um, just make sure you have the right tools. Don't start the job without the oil filter wrench like I did, um, but it's really not that hard. Just gotta know what to do and what tools to use. I hope you liked the video and if you did, press that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Just make sure you have the right tools. Make sure you...